and welcome. My name is Heroin Bob and welcome to Bob Buys, where I go to places like charity shops, thrift stores, and retail locations to buy stuff for hopefully really cheap. Flip on sites like Amazon, Etsy, and eBay for a profit. We're doing a lunchtime thrift video today, which means I'll have 30 minutes to go into the dab behind me here and try to find some stuff to flip online. Um, this is probably one of my favorite places to go for lunchtime thrift challenge because it's super easy. I just do a once around the hard good perimeters. Um, and then I check the 99 cent areas because, as I've mentioned before, the DAVs in my area know their brands and typically um, mark things up and are the more expensive. Um, they mark glassware instead of by sets like the Goodwills in our area. Do. They do um, individual pricing. So things can get a little pricey here, but I've managed to find lots of really good stuff, which is why I keep coming back. So let's see what I can find today. Okay, I'm having a really hard time in this staff because they have decided that they want all of the loud music. Um, so I found this. It is a 20 ounce Starbucks mug for $4.98. Uh, I don't see any solds, but they are currently being offered on eBay for about anywhere from $10 to $20. This is chipped, so it is staying here. Also, it is too expensive. I would not buy it at $45. Unless it was one of the rare ones. What is this? Mito China. These are very pretty. And very also chipped. Darn it. This is not great. Alright. This one is not chipped. And it is 99 cents. Is the saucer also 99 cents? Yeah, see this is what I was talking about where they don't... They, they mark things separately. I'm going to look this up real quick. Okay, so this is going to stay there. This is pretty. And it is modern. No, modern-ish. It's JCPenney. Probably like 80s, maybe? I don't know, that's an interesting label there. I'll look that up, actually. That's intrigued me. So this is 2 98 uh, this is a mug. It stands right there. It says Bavaria, West Germany. Um, pretty much anything that says West Germany on it, I pick it up. My best friend is German. Um, so I will see if he wants this. Okay, this uh, petite floor ironstone made in Japan. This bowl and plate have been here literally forever. Um, and they're only 99 cents now. I think I'm going to check to make sure there's no damage, and then probably buy it. Yep, there's no damage. So, I think for $2, if nothing else, I'll use it, because my favorite color is green, and this is beautiful to me. But this is definitely like 70s. Okay, so as I was talking, sometimes I find really good deals in the 99 cents section. These are 99 cents. This is a pair of riveted vintage riveted mom jeans, um, but they are carpenter jeans. These are probably like early 90s. Um, so these are definitely going with me. More denim to add to the death pile. Yes. So this Paisley melted cat, I'm not getting it. I just wanted to show you because it looks like it's melting into the shelf. It's just beautiful. This is an amazing. They're all VHS tapes and they're 25 cents each and I am going to look these up because oh my god. I am such a nerd. I am so excited. I found a pair of brothies that don't look like them anymore. For ten dollars. Okay, so you guys might not understand when I was checking out why I was so excited about finding a pair of Rothy's. So those shoes sell only online. Um, you might have seen them on Facebook ads or Instagram ads. They are made out of recycled material. They're considered like sustainable shoes um, and they're washable and supposedly they're very comfortable. I'm not going to spend a hundred and like 25 or $150 on a pair of plastic shoes. I'd much rather buy a pair of leather shoes. Or like literally anything else but they resell for about the same price that you would buy them from the website which is insane I know they typically resell between 80 and 115 dollars so the fact I found a pair unworn for like 10 is 
amazing. So very excited about that. Um, the bowl and plate, the 70s bowl and plate, uh, I only paid 99 cents a piece for those. So, I mean, I should at least get 10 to 15 for each. So that's $30. So let's say we sell the Rothy's for 110. We sell the bowl and plate for 30. So that's $140. And then the Bavaria cup that normally sells for 15. And then the pants, the, the riveted pants by Lee, uh, the carpenter pants, the night, like early nineties carpenter pants. Those also sell for like $25, $30. So I spent like $16.94. So basically I'm turning $17 into $170. So 10 times, hello, thank you. I am so excited. I am like so unbelievably excited about the Rothy shoes. I really am. I've never seen a pair. I have seen, I like there are a couple other resellers I watch that they find them all the time, but they also live in larger cities. So the fact that I found some here, very happy if you can't tell. Um, but I hope you guys like this uh, thrift store shopping trip with me. I'm, that was an amazing 30 minutes and uh, I hopefully will see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Bye! Bye.